I'm right now, welcome back to my channel. I am sitting on my tour bus right now because if you didn't know, I'm on tour right now with the driver era, having the best time ever, by the way. Thank you everyone who's come out to all the shows so far and who's coming, etc. all your support. Anyways, today I thought I'd show you guys how I edit my Instagram pictures because I've been seeing a lot of comments about it. You're like, oh, what filter do you use? Blah, 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 all this stuff. So I have my apps ready to give you all the deets. Here we go. Wait, I have to, I gotta screen record this. Let me make sure I'm ready. This is such a handy tool, by the way. Okay, screen recording is working. So I have a folder here of all my photography apps and I just have two pages worth. Well, I'll just do a little overview of each of them. Afterlight is great. I haven't used it in a while, but it used to be my go-to. It's an awesome one. 3D effect I got ages ago. Literally haven't used in years. But if you want some sort of 3D action, it's pretty cool. Here, I'll show you real quick. So like if I were to take a picture. <laughs> the setup's pretty cool already. Actually, let me flip it because it looks cooler. So like, if you're looking for an artsy thing, oh wait, that's recording. Oh my gosh. If you're looking for an oh. artsy thing, oh wait. If you're looking there for it is. An anyway, so that just looks cool if you want something trippy. And last night when I was organizing all my apps to do this video, I was like, oh my gosh, I totally forgot I had this. So I need to use it more often, I guess. Lomograph is tight. If I go in, let me go to my favorites, pick a random picture. A lot of people were using this early on if you wanted like the date stamp, Ready for band. Really? Soundcheck. Oh crap. Okay, I'm just gonna be five minutes late so I can no. finish this video. Soundcheck is up, so I have to go, but I'm just gonna finish this real quick. So these are the filters. My go-to for a while was Iskra and Melina. If you ever saw a really like orange and blue picture and it had fuzz on it and a date stamp, it was usually Lomograph. Now, I'll link all these below if you guys want to download them. I can't remember which ones are free and which ones are not. And if they aren't free, they're usually just like 99 cents and I just, I just get it. What's cool is you can, so you can click to apply the date stamp. Oh lovely, Rocky just went to the bathroom. <laughs> and you can apply the date stamp. And then each filter has more filters. You just keep tapping it and it changes the fuzz or like if it has a lighting, like a red line through it, the line will either go away or it'll go somewhere else and stuff like that. Fuji, super hip, a lot of people use this. If you ever saw pictures and you were like, what, like, so many people use this and you couldn't figure out what it was, it was probably Fuji. So let me just do one right now. I'll take a picture of them. my setup, hi. So you do it and then it develops like it would an actual, you know, Fuji film. You go to the lab and it just makes it look tight. Like no matter what, it, it looks like film. So Fuji's a must. So Facetune, you all know Facetune obviously. I use Facetune mostly for backgrounds. What I'll do is if I have a photo, let me open one. So say I take this same picture, sorry. Use maximum size. If there's ever a city picture or something where there's a lot of people in the background and I'm like, I don't want them in my picture. Then I usually will go to the, where is it, defocus tool. And I'll either blur or defocus. Defocus I think is better. And I'll like zoom in and I'll just keep, you know, rubbing my finger and it just blurs the entire background. So then all you see is me. It's almost like making it a portrait. If you have an iPhone and there's like a portrait mode, it blurs the background. So that's kind of essentially all I'm doing is turning it into a portrait. Like I said, it pulls focus on whatever object you're blurring around. Occasionally, I'll do the zit cleanse. <laughs> if I'm really just like not feeling comfortable about it, I know we all have it, but um, every once in a while, I definitely, I'm not gonna lie, I have erased a zit because I mean, the tool's here, why not? But I will say, I don't want it to ever look unnatural. I don't like when you can tell somebody edited their picture. Like they just blur their face like crazy. They edit their eyes insanely, like they color them white. Just so much stuff. First of all, that takes a really long time. Second of all, then when you when people see you in person, it's like, whoa, you do not look anything like your Instagram. Like I wanna look, I want it to look real. Kira Kira, I love. If you have not ever used Kira Kira, it's amazing. It basically just makes things sparkle. 
so like ooh, see how everything's sparkling 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 and then there's different ones there's twinkle so it makes them all colorful ones and this one's kind of an airy like blur anyways this oh, kira kira i would definitely get on to the second page the second page of my photography folder i actually use the most visco is my favorite editing app i paid for the like premium one that way I could save presets. But when you see my Instagram pictures, they're pretty much all the same filter. I'll just adjust accordingly. What I do is I'll take this picture of me and Vanny. You go to this little round button. I have my presets here that I've saved. One of them I use for my Rydell's Tea Party account, which is more like pink tone. A lot of you were asking me, um, I think it was over the winter I had all of the, it was like extra pink sort of filters on my clothing line account and you guys were asking about that so I'll show you that one. It's uh, AV8 is the filter and then I always add a little bit of grain to every picture, I just think it looks cool and that's it. But what I do is um, I turn the filters down, so I turn this one down to plus eight, that's literally all it is. The one that you see on my Instagram all the time is AU5 and I turn that down a lot, almost halfway. This is what it's like full blasted and then that's where it usually is at. I put grain on it, only plus 2.3. So yeah, that's it. That's my favorite. Cause I kind of want my feed to kind of look consistent. It's not like full blogger status, but it looks perfect. You, I'll be there in five. Time crunch. Yeah, I know. So, oh, you're good. Thought you're another person coming to yell at me. I'm like, ah, oh, filming. So all my Instagram pictures pretty much always have this AU5 on it and a little bit of green. Boom, that. And the best thing about this is after I edit one, if I adjust things accordingly, I can copy and paste those to all the other pictures so they all look the same. Same with this one. It's the what is it? It's the yeah AU5 with a little bit of green. Easy, easy. Okay. Now the best thing. <laughs> The best apps for stories um, that I have found is Unfold and Story Art. Story Art I use the most. I just got Unfold, so I'm kind of new to it. I'm posting product shots of like stuff people have gifted me or whatnot. I'm usually using this Story Art stuff, and then you've seen this yellow one a lot. Super cute, super easy. You can add videos or pictures in it, and it just makes it amazing. And then Unfold's really cool too. Sort of same thing. Has a layout you have pictures and it's just it's so handy to have oh yeah look that's what i used for my dermalogica when they sent me stuff i like put it all together and then you can write on it and stuff it's awesome this app is called fonts and it has a bunch of different ones like tiny fonts cursive etc there's a lot of ones that are locked that you have to buy i think but i didn't buy them i just got one but they have like bubbles like